Okay. Like, you know, my homie Cali above, he in constant conversation with C. Okay, so, and he always tell you how he doing. Yeah, for sure. Because there got to be st- certain people who just linked in because they had relationships. They was real close. You, But you did early work with C on music. Right, right, for sure. But after that, did you guys just, y'all, j- was, was it the just same business? project. Because no. he's older, too, though. Nah, he ain't charged me. He kept a gangster with me. Oh, he ain't charged you nothing? Nah, he kept a gangster with me. Like I tell you, like, it was a time when this rap turn took a turn, like, that Calio was back where it needed to be. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Wow. I'm going to be honest with you, man. Like I said, you when you put the move with camera and bring him down to Cali, just like the, the things you do, you boys, uh, you and the Miller boys, y'all out of these projects. And did you ever see it like growing like it did and doing the things that you've seen it do? Because you was younger than them, so you kind of seen them early on. Where, right. Did you see them when they... Did you know them before the game got started with No Limit? or No. So you came in the game watching them? Yeah, so I'm going to say No Limit like 98. But before No Limit, it was Cash Money and Big Boy Records. So these, the the, the guys that you will normally see, and now they're in the music game, and they having their weight with life in the music game. You feel me? So we was able to see Cash Money in early days, how it formed. You feel me? So by the time Master P come, he take it to another level. It's crazy because when you think back like that, you be thinking like, damn, you know, it seemed like No Limit came first because they popped first, right? They got to the masses first. That's right. They popped for us. We seen, I seen uh, No Limit like, bam, you know, and Cash Money was still staying. It had to be local because I didn't, you know, I didn't really, I wasn't paying attention, but I do remember that, that, uh, that song, was that, that, that Drag Him Through the River song, was that them? I'm a drag him from the river, dump his body and chuck y'all, leaving a note around his neck, reading bad ass yellow boy. Yeah, that was Cash So Money. that's what, that's see, the that's, part. That's so crazy that the beef record make it to the world. Like, yeah, yeah, you know from it. a beef record, yeah. but Pimp C and Bun B been coming down there on early Cash Money projects. They on early BG projects. Yeah. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so... New Orleans already had that connection between Texas, so between them and Rap a lot, they running back and forth, tapping the markets. You feel uh-huh. me? And uh-huh. like the city between Mobile Camp on the West Bank, Big Boy Records Uptown, Cash Money Records Uptown, like Uptown was an exciting place to be from. Wow. And and the thing is, I, I, I know I didn't know you had bumped your head, but you had to go sit down and do some time. Yeah. Like what was that all about? That's just a situation. Just me and my good heart. With okay. a situation. So basically, it ended up making you have to sit How was it being locked up? For me, being from where I'm from first, it's like the day before I turned myself in, I ran into one of the homies that, you know, he had a big name out the Cali. He was like, man, you about to go do some time, huh? I'm like, yeah, I got to go in the morning. He's like, man, the walk already laid for you. You heard me? So by he saying that mean my project already has a reputation. You feel me? So you walk the walk you walk because the ones before you then laid the law down. You feel me? So all you got to do is just be a stand up. You feel me? And, 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 and you know what I'm saying? The way is already paid for you. Then I'm wow. already who I was myself. You feel me? So every camp that I went to, the guards is fans of me or something. You feel me? So you already had a relationship with P and them then. Yeah, I was man P relationship had just started before okay, I got jammed okay, up. Okay, so he didn't really get to just... You didn't get to talk to him during the time you was locked up. Yeah, I talked to him a few times while I was while locked you locked up. up. You did. Yeah. How was those conversation? What did he say to encourage? We just joking. Like it ain't encouraged me because I'm a jokester. So fuck. By the time I'm calling home, people thinking I'm having more fun back there <laughs> than on the streets because I know what I'm coming home to. Yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like you know my situation is like I'm leaving this, but I'm coming home to this. You feel me? Yeah, a lot yeah. of people don't have that luxury. Wow, and and what made him really like? What solidified y'all relationship? I mean, we from the same place. So he just always because I seen y'all in the video how y'all was corresponding early on. Like you had the long hair at the end though. I'm for them dope killers. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> how hard was it cutting that hair off, man? Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> I still don't know what to do with this shit, man. I don't know what to do with this shit. I just go to Bob and like do something. Do something. Are you going to go back? 
Nah. Why not? Because all my partners here too long, and it's like I'm a feel play when they telling me about them little bit ass dreads in my head. Because <laughs> I know how it was when some of the homies went dead time and they had to come back, and my hair was way down there, and we didn't talk about them so long. You feel me? That they ain't even choose to grow their hair back. They had to try to fade. And you didn't save it. Yeah. Do you have your hair? Yeah. So you know you can reattach it. I'm not putting fake hair in my head. I'm not doing <laughs> See, it. See, I hear somebody. It's not really fake. It's your hair. It's fake. If it's cut out my head, it's fake hair. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I ain't putting no extension. That's a female thing. Wow. Let's see that. That's the way we think. Yeah, yeah I like it. Me telling the truth. It, uh, so, got it. Okay. So what? What? Okay. But back to the thing when you and with, with you and P just 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 to go back in a little bit like what made y'all you know like lock in like you did I mean P saw me as a younger version of himself okay like, okay man you sense. know P coming back to the Cali you at this point like I'm really from the project so as my music career took off I never left so I'm here so all my childhood friends the ladies that raised me onks that used to you know what I'm saying play onka to me they was all around you feel me so ain't nothing changed so as I progressed in my music career, it's like P coming back there the same way. The hood was no limit. It was hood starting now. I was just trying to see if I could still hear some. Okay, but at the end of the day, when you when you really think about it, like you guys have a lot of different people that come from down there. Soldier Slim, like I, I even though I know you be set tripping hard, like uh, what where was Soldier Slim from? Soldier Slim from the Magnolia. How did, how did you feel about Soldier Slim and his movement? Well, my cousin used to run with Slim. So if you hear a lot of stories about Slim, they'll tell you about Reg, slugged up nigga. That's who started Slim rapping. Wow. So my cousin was already rapping. My cousin who Slim used to be with. You feel me? So that, that's how he that, that they ran together. Yeah, so that mean I know Slim from that. Slim used to cut my hair and shit. He used to cut your hair when you were yeah, young? Yeah, for sure. Wow, and how was how was it how was it just knowing him as a person? Because you hear so many stories. Slim a jokester, you feel me? Slim, oh, you like so y'all kicking it? Yeah, Slim a jokester, you feel me? But Slim, you know, he was thorough for sure, for sure. Yeah, and 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 basically, you you know, like when you think about Slim and everything that he had going, he dealt with cash money and he he dealt with both. Because you deal with both when you really out the streets. You feel me? This uptown, this our home. You feel what I'm saying? So. A typical day uptown, you gonna hit five, six sets. Okay. And no limit or cash money artists might be off these sets. And if you known in the streets, that mean everybody politic. Mm, mm. I get it. So, so you move, cause like I said, when when you hear about him, you always hear about just how he everybody touched everybody in a way with his lifestyle, mm -hmm. and they they really really home in the soldier slim. You know. Yeah, I mean? but a lot of people didn't want to run into slim either. You feel me? Like you hear about the thorough people, you know, like we talk about things like it's it's normal. You feel me? But other people couldn't talk to slim. It ain't like slim was an approachable guy where anybody could just walk up and have a conversation with him. But they I mean, like ain't that nobody now. uptown like that. You can't just walk up to somebody uptown and start talking to them. It ain't you ain't that friendly uptown. Wow. So you hear a lot of people have interaction with people, but sometimes people just meet people in passing. Yeah. And they think because they they met you in passing that, that y'all cool. had a relationship. Like like homie, cool. I've been around it one time. How I'm a judge's character. So you think a lot of these social slim stories are just for clout, or do you? Yeah, think facts. They're not really a genuine relationship. They just saying it because he was just in a vicinity. They it's might a have been bait. in. Yeah, it's a clickbait. I remember this one time I seen Slim. I mean, I was in a club when this happened, but I, I ain't see it. I mean, cause you in a facility, <laughs> you, you feel the energy, <laughs> like you knew the tension that was going on. Cut it out, man. And when you hear that, how do you feel? How does it make you feel when you hear people do all that? I mean, we see it it's all the a time. Character. We see it all the time. You know, people turn a camera on, and 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 they get action. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, I remember this one time in band camp. This one time in band camp, <laughs> everybody yeah, got yeah. a story. Everybody got a story. Like and and just when you when you go down there and you you think about how C Murder, you know, he locked up. And and I, I asked I asked Silk the last time he was on here like how he was doing like do you ever have any dealings with him or, or reach out to him or did nah, you? Nah, some of the homies talk to C. Okay, like you know my homie Cali above he in constant conversation with C. Okay, so and he always tell you how he doing. Yeah, for sure. Because there got to be certain people who just linked in because they had relationships. They was real close. You but you did early work with C on music. Right, right, for sure. 
But after that, did you guys just y'all was we it the just same business? Project. Cause no. he's older too, though. Nah, he ain't charged me. He kept a gangster with me. Oh, he ain't charged you nothing. Nah, he kept a gangster with me. Like I tell you, like it was a time when this rap turn took a turn. Like that Calio was back where it needed to be, and it was all you know, all in support of her stuff. You feel what I'm saying? Like the project was behind me. Like you know, wow. That's crazy, man. We mentioned Cash Money earlier, and I asked Silk, I said, when are you going to get me, and did you probably seen that, I said, when are you going to get me Master P and you and uh, Birdman and Slim in here to do this uh, interview? And uh, he just, he kind of said that would be different, but he didn't go into it too much. Like, get you and Master P in here together with Slim and Baby. <laughs> you need to you need to make that happen. You are my closest source, and I know it's politics involved. You, I'm trying to blow the internet up. You will. You will definitely, <laughs> definitely LD. Yeah, you will definitely blow the internet on now. Uh, do you think something like that could ever happen? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> and he said it would break the internet, but at the same time, I came back and be like, well, because I have heard somebody who sat on this uh, on this panel before say that that was back then when they had all it of that. Do it now. wouldn't do nothing now because, you know, so much time has passed. Yeah, facts. I mean, who cares about it? All these guys that probably was beefing when they was beefing, man, them people got grandkids now. Right. Ain't nobody trying to hurt nothing. They can't so hurt So it won't nothing. solve nothing with, it, with them sitting together on the same panel talking? I mean, we're going to do. Cause you know, with all due respect, I don't think Master P really care too much about music. Like he he don't care about the projects mm -hmm. at least. You know, like with them two being from where they from and they sit down, like what they gonna do? Now they can get together and do some business in New Orleans and, and give some people some platforms. That'll change some. But just talking, what talking gonna do? But you said he don't care too much about the music, but he's still doing his No Limit tours. He's still performing. I mean, that's him. I don't think he's investing in other people right now. Like, people. you know, he care about him and his family. He got a mm -hmm. lot going on. He been through a lot. You feel me? Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, last time you came on here, you, I don't know if you remember it, but we offline said that you was going to try to get me currency on here, but it ain't happened yet. So <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if you really, you know, I don't know what them uptown niggas be. Man, really. look. I don't know what they really be just saying and this cap or whatever. He came through uh, Dallas a couple of times. And I didn't reach out to you. I can't lie. And you I gotta come pull up on the turf. So I just need to come to New Orleans. Pull up on the turf. I've been down there a few times. We coming back. We gotta Man, come back. We just haven't been back on since Canal we had Street. Him. You can't miss it. So you if, feel me? If, if I come down there, it's going down. Pull up. That's all you had to say. You I'm definitely me? coming. Pull up. Spit and up. Oh. It, and it's going down. A few minutes later. He know you. Hey, it's going crazy it in the city, no man. To the yacht and know I done it all for a check. Wake up tomorrow morning. It's allowed to turn so, on listen, this since we get. I don't give a damn. Don't stop at the jet line call. I, hey, I got turned out by the call. Synonymously. With uh, Essence Fest, they have us to coincide. What's the, what's that sound that you be making? That's the bird call. It's the bird call. Who came up with that? Soldier Slim. Soldier Slim wow, came up with for that. Real? Yeah. Nobody did it before he did. I mean, it's a it's I can't I can't claim it's a Soldier Slim call because when Soldier Slim was hanging in Cali, that was his call. Wow. Now where he get it from, I can't speak on that, but okay. I know that's a Soldier Slim call. So okay. he made the bird call up the first time you ever heard it. That's his bird call. That's you know they got two call. bird calls. They I got know the they do them two different. That's what I was oh, wondering. Oh yeah, yeah. They got a bird man. <laughs> yeah, that's the bird man call, and then oh, that's the slim call. Oh, it's two different. Yeah. So what's oh. up with the bird calls down there? What 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 does that <laughs> represent? Yeah. Why is it bird? I mean, we we gotta watch for the police. Oh, that's so it's really what? alerting people about the police and alerting people about. Unexpected visitors. That's okay. what it's about. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Yeah. I didn't know. What kind of bird is your bird called? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. Yeah, we gonna talk.